There's a Gears of Five out now? Um, okay. It's a bit odd. Also, tacos, yummy, meat, cheese, tacos. You know, that's kind of coincidental because... Hang on, let me get this mic closer here. I'm still setting up. Um, I don't even... I didn't even bother advertising the link for it. Um, my motivation is kind of all over the place, but I can still make it work. But no, um, I have uh, one of those $5 boxes from Taco Bell, and that's what I'm like eating for the time being. Realize I gotta take care of something real quick. It'll be like one minute, so. <clears throat> oh, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, no, I'm having one of those $5 boxes from Taco Bell. Magical Star, thank you for hosting. I hope I sound okay. Um, You can hear the wrapper and everything. Oh, dear God, the bottom of this taco is so moist and, like, a little soggy. Crimson Flare, thank you for, um, thank you for hosting. I mean, I'm guessing that's because of all the moisture of the meat or something? The grease, I mean? I don't know. Okay, so I have a kitten in the chat. All right, well, make sure that the cat are, yeah, make sure the kitten is uh, well-fed and taken care of. Um, let's see. Derek DeBroni, thank you for hosting. I'm going to get a lot of those all locked for a bit. I want to talk about but Mother Nature said no to Damn Storm. Oh, LOZ fan, I can feel you there. Make sure the cat doesn't scratch on the carpet. Make sure the cat doesn't shit on the carpet, if you know what I mean. You know, if you ever get a litter box, I don't know, stick it in the bathroom and make sure it's easy access so that way the cat won't bother you and take a shit all over the house, if you know what I mean. It was, um, it's been years since I used to have a cat. Like, I would, like, one of the, the, the upsides of having a cat once is that there was a doggy door and um, that was because I used to have uh, two different dogs uh, one of them passed on so did the cat but the doggy door the cat would have access and just roll like roll around outside and upon that it was an opportunity to you know let him wander around freely and not have to you know be stuck in the house and not have to make a mess um I really shouldn't say too much about him, but I really love the cat. Um, beautiful orange stray cat, striped cat. I mean, uh, tiger, you know, colors. You know, kind of like, kind of like Oliver from Oliver and Company. Then again, tigers have black stripes compared to a darker shade of orange. Uh, but yeah, that's the kind of cat I had. He lived to be 17, and occasionally uh, he would bring in... Um, a small dead animal 
And even though that's, you know, pure animal cruelty, um, this was also the Wheel of Steel. Thank you for that. Uh, this was because uh, these little uh, rodents would come around making holes on our yard and making a mess, and we would have to clean up after them. So uh, there was definitely a plus side to that. Um, I think you're talking about an orange tabby. Okay, yeah, an orange tabby. Uh, that's the kind of cat he was. Um, it wasn't very often that he would bring in a... It was a gopher, that's what it was. There were gophers who were in our yard, and they would dig holes, ruin, you know, ruin everything. And he would hunt them down and bring them in, you know. They'd be kind of like little, um... What's the term? Like little, uh, reward... Like a little trophy or something. Thank you again for, uh, the... the what are those? Bit, bits or something? I don't know. Isn't Garfield in order to tap? Yeah, pretty much. I, be, I would guess so, because... Because it also has, you know, the it, it's an orange cat with stripes. Actually, the the stripes are more uh, black. I don't know if that makes any difference on the color name. I don't know. Seventeen. The cat I currently babysit is way older than that one, and she's a bipolar little thing. All right. But I, I really enjoyed the cat, you know. He was very talkative. He would meow constantly. Go, meow, meow, meow. In the middle of the night, he would pester one of us until finally we would get downstairs and, like, I don't know, let him, like, outside or let him in the garage. You know, or just do something. Um, either that or maybe he was hungry, you know. Cats have their own way of uh, doing their routine, so... There wasn't much else we could do about it. Um, yeah, he was very talkative. And he would always, like, lay around. You know, would, my brother would take care of him and just, like, lay ne uh, have him lay next to him in bed and such. A lot of fun memories. Uh, thank you for... Hey, guys. <laughs> I didn't know that the subscribe feature had a uh, text, uh, text to speech thing. That's cool. But thank you, Birch, for subscribing. Um, what are you going okay for? Let's see, hey everyone, what happened? Oh, desert. I was talking about one of my uh, my past pets that I used to enjoy having around. Um, yeah, no, it kind of turned into that because. Somebody in the chat said, um, like, there's a kitten around. And I'm trying to explain the best of my knowledge from my experience of, um, you know, taking care of a cat. Which, in hindsight, it's pretty minimal. A lot of other cat owners had to have, like, a litter box. And it was not very pleasant because it would sidle or it would either, like, stink up the living room or stick up in another location. And you have to make sure the cat, you know, actually takes care of its business. Um, actually, did I start a call? Oh, no, I didn't. Whoops. All right. <clears throat> so, hopefully somebody will join at one point. You know, I'm going to be honest. There are times at this moment where I'm just opening, like, where I'm admittedly opening myself up to just be jump scared or having jumping in when you least expect it. And it's mainly because people find it funny. And... When you gotta entertain, you gotta entertain, you know? <clears throat> and you've seen how my freakouts went. So. <clears throat> Darth Raven226, thank you for hosting. Let's see, putting this on the BG Noise, working on. The, okay. Yeah, you know, that, you know, I do appreciate, like, well, can they not even appreciate, but it's, um, it's nice to see that some people utilize, you know, whether they're podcasts or Let's Plays, and they listen to something while they're working on their own thing. It creates a white noise in its own way. Uh, can you try and not make the Souls Pokemon fans cry this week? Um, I cannot make any promises magical. As it, like, as is, I've been having some bittersweet feelings of playing Pokemon lately. I'm not gonna stop. I still have to finish what I started. You know, it's, it's not even a mentality. It's just come common knowledge. 
your freakouts evolve to a point where there's a counter of who scares the shit out of you. Yeah, and it entertains people. Pokemon fans. <clears throat> well, looked at Grudge, has some things to say. Oh, god damn it, the bottom of my taco fell apart. I. Okay, I do admit that it does drag a little in parts, and that's mainly because some, like, campaigns that I don't expect take much longer than they need to be, or than I expected. And that's also why multiple times I've been trying to grind my Pokemon offline so that way they're much more prepared to make progress in the game much further. Like, I've got two more, um, I've got two more, uh, badges to collect and then the Unigo Plateau, so it shouldn't take too much longer. Oh, Myth has something to share, uh, share. So, I have a little story for you, Golden. The other day, something woke me up around 3 a.m., Normally, I would just roll over and go back to sleep. I had a little paranoid feeling that I couldn't let it go, so I walked out of my room, down the stairs. I heard a noise on the other side of my front door. Kaboom! Uh, that <laughs> fuzzy noise. <laughs> Hi, Myth. <laughs> oh, I only heard part of that because I joined and the lag overlapped, but oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that was it. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Myth Pony. Give her a round of applause. Because <laughs> after she said kaboom, there was a weird fuzzy noise. <laughs> Oh, I'll bet you're satisfied, miss. Holy shit. <clears throat> is it bad when... It, is it bad to say that I... If she sounded a bit like Ellie at first? Because that's who I thought it was. And it's mainly because I normally don't expect Myth to join calls. Maybe that's just me. So how was my week? It was okay. Nothing too special. Um, I managed to finally finish a script of some kind that I have yet to um, polish up and get ready for. So that way, you know, I'll get some content out for my main channel. Hmm. You know... If it was Ellie, she probably would have, you know, tended to sound much louder in the microphone. Yeah, um, that's definitely something to remember. I really should be working on this food here. Uh, Jesse, yes. I was a little unclear on that part, and I do apologize. Get this tray out of the way, so that way, focus on the actual main course. What is this, a quesadilla or something? Hmm. They say it's supposed to be a crunchy thing of some kind. God damn it. I got lettuce on my lap. Fuck. That's probably what it is, Myth, a crunch wrap. <clears throat> it's wrapped up in this tortilla. There's lettuce at the top, and there's meat at the bottom, or beef. Very, um, what's it called? Artificial, that's what it is. Artificial beef. 
Oh, Derek. Yeah, no, it was for an FLP episode review. Um, I'm not going to specify what that is. I, I really tend to save that for uh, my patrons, so that way, you know... I heard somebody in the call. I know you're there. No? Okay, I heard something. All right. <laughs> okay, I taste the uh, I taste the cheese. Wow, that was a struggle to get a burp out. Holy shit. Twenty eight blister solar again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Blizzard's not a big Pokemon fan. And that's fine. I know that she did join a call at some point. Um, but that's mainly because of, you know, what I nicknamed uh, Pikachu. And you can kind of, you know, figure that shit out. You know what I should have brought from Taco Bell? Then again... Maybe it was not in the box. I don't know. I should have brought napkins. I got some stuff on my face. I should go get a paper towel. You know, instead of making this about me, I should ask you guys, for anybody who enjoys Taco Bell, what is your favorite thing on the menu? Like, there's things I could say, but that kind of is counterintuitive of what I'm asking you guys, so. It wasn't my goal to scare him, I wanted to make him laugh. Well, mission accomplished. Soft tacos, okay, soft tacos. I used to love this mother burritos. What was where's my phone? Okay, that makes absolutely nothing relatable to me. Oh it's one of those damn solicitation messages. Oh big coming out of the burp. Ugh. Ugh. Chicken quesadillas, and it's... Hang on, I gotta scroll up a bit. Nacho fries, that's the only thing. I haven't had the nacho fries yet. Bean burrito, that's always a classic. Swedish tacos. I didn't even know there was a thing with Swedish tacos. Sob tacos, Doritos tacos. Um, I also ate those nacho fries dipped in ketchup. Huh. By the way, Goldman, you might want to check Patreon. Um, I'll probably check at some other point. I want to make this about the chat for a bit. Let's see, soft tacos are good. It seems a lot of people love soft tacos. I don't often think about them. Um, let's see. Crunchy tacos, this and or Doritos tacos. The food from the Taco Bell that doesn't give me the runs. <laughs> Thank you, Ripple, for subscribing. You know, it's like it's kind of like what uh, Ego Raptor said when it comes to Taco Bell. It's like eating Taco Bell too much late at night, and you wake up in the middle of the night, you have to vom. You know the feeling. You know it. You wake up, you got to barf. You can feel it. You have the hot sweats. <laughs> How come the UK never gets any of the good restaurants? Oh, you mean to tell me that England doesn't have Taco Bell? 
I'll have to look into that. My ge my knowledge on geography is an utter mess. So sometimes I can't tell apart Germany from I don't know France. <laughs> And I'm saying that in a hyperbolic sense. I can easily tell the differences between the French and the Germans. Which is kind of ironic because part of my heritage revolves around some of them. Uh, German, Scottish, Irish, and um, mostly a lot of um, Caucasian-based uh, locations or European places. Let's see, Mexican pizza. I think I've had that once. It was pretty good. Um, scrolling down, let's see, I think you used, uh, used to be something called a volcano burrito, there were spicy and crunchy dip strips and stuff, you know, that does not surprise me at all, when you name something like volcano, what the fuck do you think you're gonna get, you know, you get what you pay for, you take one bite and your mouth is on fire, uh, I didn't subscribe. DB gifted me a one tier sub. Okay, um, I that's kind of weird, but I'll take that. They don't have Taco Bell in England. Stupid! Oh, they don't have Wendy's either. Or I. Oh my God, you poor soul. They don't have IHOP in England. That's gonna take a bit for me to process. Uh, what else? Let's see. Not in London. Oh, uh, let's see. Or oh, hi, I'm not in London. There's only two micro. Okay, so there's two of something in the area, and I know that Birch is from England. Soft tacos, how classic. Uh, they only have a McDonald's from my memory from being in England for vacation. Huh. Let's see, but anyway, back to talk about funny story. One time I had some soft tacos, and I once accidentally bit through a small corner of the wrapping. I didn't even notice until I saw the corner wrapping bitten off. You know, that's happened to me a couple of times. You know, I eat something out of the wrap and then it just like tears off and you don't even know it. Like, it's not even going to damage or hurt you or anything. It's just like, oh, looks like I ate a piece of something made out of paper. <laughs> Love struck Dark 10. Thank you for the cheer bit. Um, we have Burger King, KFC, Pizza Hut. Okay, so it's cool. You got Pizza Hut, you got Chicken Wings, you got Burger King. You know, that kind of makes more sense given that the way their um, the way their leader name goes by, they go by King. Whereas America, there's President. Other countries have Emperor. I, like I said, my knowledge on geography and other countries can be a mess. So sorry if I sound. Uh, what is the term? I don't know. My mom made fish sticks with fish tacos. Exactly. I was like, whoops. Hmm. Ignorant. That's a bit of a strong word, but, you know, that does make, uh, that does make sense. That reminds me, someone at my job, the customer, mind you, ate a whole straw wrapper. Well, um... I just hope that he doesn't go through any, like, bowel problems. Ugh. So it's a crunch wrap, a taco, and a, um, what is it called, uh, those cinnamon twist things? California Watch 145, thank you for the 100 cheer bits. I'm sure there will be. Oh, damn it, I didn't have a chance to read that. Fuck! Why? Why? Wh oh. The human race confuses all of us, Magical Star. You know, how is it that the world is still alive when after all the, you know... After the environment of polluted, you know, areas and fatty foods that we eat, how is it that the human race is still alive and we survive off of that? I don't even know anymore. Look, this is going to take me a while to finish. I really shouldn't bore you guys with that. We see confusion. It's super... Oh, wow. Wow, Ripple. Nice one. 
Anyways, I think it's best that I get to, um, I get to, uh, you know, the actual game itself. 